write a list a mile long of the cheesy pickup lines guys have ever said to me. So I think I think being honest right off the bat is really important. It's something that's really important to me. No, if it's a true, generous um, compassion that they have for women, then uh, then it's a beautiful thing. And and I think that a guy that would have it for women would have it for all people. The number one genre of books sold in the world today, by a wide margin, are romance novels. And there's a reason. Women are starved for passion, for romance, for seduction. They desire it. They crave it. Without it, they wither and fade away. Every woman wants to be in a love story. Now I am often asked, what credentials do you have to give dating or relationship advice? Well, that's a very good question. And the answer is, I have none. I am not a psychologist or a therapist or a relationship guru, but I do believe in women. I believe in the kindness and gentleness and goodness of the female spirit. I believe that if there is anything good in me at all, it is because of the wonderful women I have been blessed with in my life. They have added to me and created who I am. I spend my life moving toward beauty, beauty in all its forms, art in all its forms. So early on, I became a student of women. I have sat at the knee of women, as it were, and asked them a thousand questions. And they have told me many, many things, but the number one thing they have told me is that they are missing the element of seduction in their life. Now let's examine that word for a minute, seduction. Dictionaries generally have two definitions. Number one, the act of leading astray. But number two, something that attracts or charms. What I'm talking about is that second definition. Looked at in that light, something that attracts or charms, there's a quiet beauty in the notion of seduction. And I will tell you that I believe it is the number one element we are missing in our interactions with women today. It is the missing ingredient in all of our relationships. It doesn't matter if you just met her five minutes ago or if, if, if you've been married to her for 30 years. Women, all women, will still respond to the same things they have always responded to. You know, expressing your desire for a girl you just met five minutes ago is rarely resented as long as it comes across as genuine and honest and without the slightest hint of presumption, or worse, neediness. In fact, a woman might pretend to be offended if you attempt to seduce her, but she will definitely be offended if you don't. This is because women are complicit in their own seduction. They want to be seduced. And if you've been married to her for 30 years, she still longs for the same thing she always has. She wants you to read to her in bed, to stroke her hair, to like her dress, to trail your fingers in the water when she's taking a bath, to be a man who knows what he likes and who moves through life without apology. Well, that's what enlightened seduction is all about. If I were to describe what I'm trying to do in one sentence, I would probably say, I teach men that women are beautiful. Because when you believe that, they start to believe it too. There's a natural seducer inside of you, a side of you that is more attractive and powerful than you ever imagined. You just have to learn to discover and release it. And you are about to embark on a journey of discovery, the discovery of a more elegant and more excellent and a more enlightened way of interacting with women and moving through this world.